This is Spectrum from EarthEye. Today, we're going to talk about what we can see at infrastructure and construction projects, how we get hold of data feeds, how we make sense of them, and how we create much more than just a picture. Let's start with how we observe construction and infrastructure. There are many locations around the world which need regular monitoring. To ensure their safety and security, we need to check on roads, industrial facilities, construction sites, railways, pipelines, and many others from every angle, from within, close up, or above. We understand the value of these different viewpoints, but we've been told that often these different survey types are sporadic and hard to combine into an overall picture. And we're trying to do this while being confronted by various unexpected challenges. The earth doesn't sit still, the ground moves, natural processes occur in vegetation, with rivers, floods and all sorts of other weather effects. The people around our assets don't stay still, and these can cause minor issues like tampering to major issues like theft. We need to secure and track our machinery, and we need to spot things like illegal buildings and illegal excavation. And that's why we've designed Spectrum, to monitor these things in a consistent and reliable way. We get data from radar satellites, optical satellites, thermal satellites, and from the ground and air to create feeds of information. This proactive monitoring is made possible thanks to brand new technology that we've developed. Spectrum uses satellite data and other sources and analyzes them to reveal the knowledge within. So let's look at how we get hold of data. The challenge we all have is that we can't be everywhere all at once. So how can we possibly check on big sites, inaccessible sites, or sites that are scattered across the globe? Well, this is where Spectrum comes in. To monitor things at scale, beyond drone or close-up surveys, it spots issues and flags them up for a closer inspection. It consistently keeps an eye on the situation and keeps a record over time that you can refer back to. This satellite video data over Buenos Aires is a good example of that, a really rich data source. Satellites regularly map the entire world with detailed high accuracy surveys available on demand. So while nobody can be everywhere all at once, we can check anywhere in the world at least every few days and even zoom back through time and check on what's happened before. So now we've got to make sense of all this data. We also heard about many challenges accessing information in infrastructure and construction. And it seems sadly that many are resigned to accepting them. These range from the weeks or months that it can take to get flight permissions or site access, to the lengthy health and safety assessments just to take a picture, uh, working with staff availability and managing contracts with multiple different survey providers, and all of these are compounded when working at secure sites and in challenging environments. But when you're in space looking down, all of these earthly considerations evaporate. Space is free and open and you can make measurements anywhere around the world, wherever you wish. You don't need licenses, permissions, audits or anything else, just access to the satellites. So now there's another option. We don't need permits, can think twice before putting people in harm's way, there's no concerns around line of sight, and with a 24 hour turnaround, you can think again before asking for permission to send another team to site. This expands your options, particularly if you're working on an inaccessible location. This removes the cost of setting up visits and of sending multiple staff to site, which immediately offsets the cost of our service. And in return, we provide regular surveys of the entire asset on an ongoing basis. One thing we heard from managers and engineers on these types of projects was that they want to get information easily. They can't work with an eight week turnaround for aerial data. Ground surveys are quite irregular. So we heard that and we committed to providing a service which is more than just an image. We do all the legwork 
and make it all available in our portal. Let's take a look at the portal for an area in the UK called the A14 Road Improvement Scheme where there's been a lot of activity over the last few years. What we can show you now is a lot of data brought together and analysed, so satellite images over time showing the changes. And we've turned this data using AI into land cover maps. These land cover maps tell you what type of land there is. We can take the differences between those land cover maps then to tell us about just what's changed. So in this case, we can see the changes in the vegetation. The AI has also detected a lot of objects and features like pylons and stockpiles, vehicles. It's flagged all of those up on the map and we can see how they change over time. Using 3D as well, we've extracted height maps, the bare ground, but also the surface, all the trees and buildings, slope maps, and then change maps. These show how the height of every point in your site is changing over time. This is a powerful tool for checking on things like earthworks volumes and or the size of a landslide. We also have in there accurate millimetre level subsidence data from SatSense, which can be analysed in the same way. And just like with any other GIS system, you can import your own data, you can export the map so someone else can load it up easily, you can print a report as well with your findings in it and these can be customised too, for example with your branding so you can send it directly to site. In the catalogue we've got a lot of different data layers like environmental constraints, areas where you can't build and protected areas. You can also connect to external servers to bring any other data in that you'd like. The measuring tool lets you calculate distances and then save them on the map as annotations so you can share them with someone else. So there's a lot of content in the system as you can see, but we've been told that people don't want to go through all the data every single time. Not all data is equally important. So what we have done is used all this data together and filtered it so that you only get the alerts that really matter to your site. We know that if you're piloting a ship, the most important information you need is if there's an iceberg ahead. Back in the portal, there are lots of tools that can be used to analyse any of the layers that we've shown you today. The terrain report allows you to select a line or an area, it allows you to look at the bare ground or it allows you to look at the surface, it allows you to select a resolution for the charting. You can also select the cut film mode which allows you to work out the volumes needed to level a route. So here I'm just clicking on the map a few locations, then when I press start that route is sent to our server and the data that's along that route is analysed and provided back to you in the form of a chart. This chart shows you the profile of the route and can be analysed and interrogated using the tools provided or exported to a report as well. These types of reports are available for all of the different layers, for land cover, for subsidence, for objects and for all of those also for the changes, so anything that's changed between one date and another. If you want to check out the alerts and warnings on your site, we've also provided a powerful tool which combines all of the different layers that we have in there to create hotspots and locations of interest for your site. For example, if there's an area with high land cover change, with high subsidence change and it's at a high slope area, then that might be a risk of ground movement or even of a landslide. So our system brings all of those together and creates that multi-dimensional analysis. This model can be rule-based or can be created from a machine learning approach which takes previous alerts and risks from your site and then creates new ones from that. So clearly there's a lot of content and one of the key concerns among our trialists was the cost. After all, people know that satellite data is expensive. We have found that by accessing the most cost-effective data, processing them automatically, we can reach economies of scale. Where any site is over five hectares, this method of survey is always cheaper than aerial or drone, and it gets more and more cost-effective the larger your area. Also, the cost per square kilometre remains the same, no matter where in the world your site is. 
And the best news is that the satellites are already built, already in space, and are already taking imagery and videos. And we have already built all the tools to provide the service. You'd be very welcome to get in contact and find out what would be involved to deploy this over your site or your asset. We've gone through many of the challenges and solutions across a wide range of asset types and how we were guided by those to create Spectrum. We've talked about observing construction infrastructure, we've talked about how we get hold of the data, we've talked about how we make sense of it and how we create much more than just a picture. Thanks for watching.